Welcome into the Quakes Post Game Show. I'm Sammy O'Brien, joined alongside Zach Bigley. We'll take you guys through a recap of every home game the Quakes have this season tonight. The Quakes get the 7-5 win at home, and Yadier Alvarez was the story. Through five innings of one-hit baseball, that one hit being a solo home run back in the first inning. And Zach, this is the Yadier Alvarez we were expecting to see. He was brilliant tonight. Topped out at 100 miles an hour on the radar gun. When he's on, he's unhittable with the slider, with the fastball. It was making hitters look silly out there, even when he wasn't recording strikeouts. But along with him, Justin Turner, the big league rehabber, all big leaders uh, brought to you by San Manuel Casino. He was also very good. Chipped in with an RBI single, hit the ball hard a couple times. He said he felt good after the game as well. So uh, I think that when you're looking at this game overall, Justin Turner played well. The defense was good. The offense was good. The pitching was good, except for for late in the game when Ryan Mosley ran into a little bit of trouble. It was a very complete overall game for the Quakes. The 10th Dodger rehabber that the Quakes have had this season, Justin Turner. We caught up with him after today's game. Yeah, felt good. Uh, got a ground ball, got to run the bases a couple times, and uh, didn't have any issues, so that's that's a good sign. He's seen, he seen the ball pretty well. Uh, yeah, hit a couple balls hard and uh, you know felt pretty good in the box. I didn't wasn't really too worried about that. I haven't missed too much time uh, as far as AB's, AB was. It was more about getting out there, running around, making sure my hand feels good. And how's the feeling okay? Yeah, felt, no, it felt good. Felt, uh, felt real good running down the line, uh, grounded out my first at bat. And, um, solid hit, solid thing at bat. The second one you lined out the third, but it was a good hit. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a good test if that guy didn't make a nice play, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, going home to second. But, uh, yeah, like I said, didn't came out of it good and didn't feel anything. So, uh, you know, see how it feels tomorrow and, and keep moving forward. Are you going to be here for a bobblehead night or are you going to be over there in L.A. for bobblehead night? No, I'll be off tomorrow, so I'll be I'll be in L.A. for the bobblehead. <laughs> and uh, you think you can go full throttle when you get there? They're going to slow you down a little bit, you know, ease back into it? I don't know what's going to happen. I know I have a sim game on Wednesday morning, so take some more at-bats, do some more running, see how that goes, and then it's up to them to decide, you know, whether Friday's the day or if they want to still wait till till Monday. What do you think of your experience? I you know you were back with the Quakes a few years ago. What do you think now? Uh, it was a good time. You know, I probably know these guys a little bit better this time around than last time. Um, you know, worked out with DJ all winter at the stadium, and you know, Will spent a lot of time in spring training coming up and and uh, you know playing the spring training games. So. Uh, you know, got to know these guys a little bit better, and uh, you know, it's always fun to come down here and, and just have baseball conversations with these guys and uh, try to help them out as much as I can and, and give them, you know, my opinion, and they can do whatever they want with it, whether whether it works for them or not. But uh, you know, it's it's good to be back down here and, and be around the guys and see how much fun they they have and how much uh, you know you really enjoy baseball. Again. And how far do you think the Titans can go? Uh, all the way, I hope. So. <laughs> Uh, they had a good regional up in Stanford. I don't remember the last time they've they've won up there. Uh, so that's a feat in itself. And uh, just wait around tonight and see whether it's going to be Long Beach or, or Texas. The Quakes offense tonight came alive for seven runs, but the Quakes still down. One game back of Lancaster. Series right now is split one and one with Modesto and Devin Smelter will be on the bump for game three tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully the offense can back Smelter up a little bit and hopefully he can put together a good performance, but the offense was really impressive tonight. The first five runs came on four RBI base hits. This is the kind of offense we know that the Quakes can possess. Stringing together base hits, Yvonne Dell Isabel homered for the 14th time this season, still leading the Cal League. And so it's really in all different ways for the Quakes. When they're able to do this, they're able to put up a lot of runs and a lot of hits. This is the offense we expected. Now, 14 hits in back-to-back -back games a few games ago, nine hits yesterday, 11 hits today. The offense is starting to come alive. Southpaw Devin Smelter will get his first start as a Quake tomorrow, 7.05 start time, game three of the series split right now. For Quakes Post Game Baseball, I'm Sammy O'Brien, joined alongside Zach Bigley. We'll see you guys tomorrow.